Got a question for you. You uh, you testified at the trial of the century, OJ Simpson. Yes. What What is it that you learned or that you can tell us that we might not know, we might not be aware of about that case? Because you mentioned it earlier um, in our conversation. And that case legitimately divided this country along racial lines. Uh, so having an opportunity to, to go over the um, forensic reports, if you will, did you learn anything that either conclusively says this man is guilty or conclusively says that he's innocent or something we just might not be aware of altogether? Well, I gave testimony <clears throat> at the criminal trial and then at the civil trial. At the criminal trial, I testified uh, on behalf of OJ. He was found not guilty. Correct. At the civil trial, I testified on behalf of OJ. So the same testimony. And he was found liable. The testimony was the same. I think one of the, the major things is uh, that I've come to realize often that more important than the evidence, more important than the scientific evidence, is how the jury is picked. The, the juries, uh, and there's a science to picking juries that are going to be favorable to your side or the other side, uh, which is beyond my expertise. But the one thing I learned there, testifying in both situations with different results in both situations in OJ, was the importance of the lawyering. Johnny Cochran was uh, OJ's defense, uh, chief defense lawyer at trial. He was amazingly a uh, lawyer who related very well to the jury and explained things. And I think that was the main reason that uh, the jury found in favor of OJ, because Johnny Cochran was so good and related to the jury. And I think that uh, in the civil case, uh, uh, the uh, there were different jurors involved. and. Uh, uh, different uh, lawyers involved, and uh, they were, they didn't command the the uh, uh, courtroom as 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 Johnny Cochran did. So, from a medical examiner's standpoint, did, did you learn anything um, outside of the way the jury uh, might have related to uh, a very charismatic lawyer like uh, Johnny Cochran? You know. Yeah. Does does your findings say, hey, there's more than one killer? Uh, does it say who was killed first? Does it say that that somebody uh, of OJ size, stature, build uh, is capable of killing two people knowing he had bad knees? I, I, I guess I'm just wondering, just from a medical examiner standpoint, did, did you see anything that maybe uh, went over our heads? Well, uh, no, not that he went over, but uh, just to be clear, uh, all journalists know about who, what, where, when, how, and why uh, to, to write a story. Uh, medical examiners have that. We go who, what, where, when, and uh, how. Mm -hmm. The first thing is who. We do not have the ability or the, uh, to say who done it. Our who is who is the decedent? We have to be responsible for proper identification of the decedent. When we fill out a death certificate, we got to make sure we're filling out the right person. So the who that medical examiners do uh, 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 relate to uh, is not who done it. That's the police prosecutor's expertise. The the we are who what what ha what happened? We do where it happened. Uh, that's the, one of the first things we do. We go to a scene and see a body in our mind. Has this body, is this originally was, was there or was he moved there? And we are automatically looking at the rigor mortis, the, the, the lividity, the settling of blood to see if the body was disturbed after death. So uh, the where is that this is the place where the death occurred. Who, what, where, why? Uh, sometimes we find, find suicide notes. We do, talk to neighbors that there's arguments. How is the mean of death, uh, means of death? And mm -hmm. I think that 
the one thing we don't do and have the expertise more than the juries. And in, in a sense, we know the science, but we don't know the whole story. I thought initially the first times I I testified uh, with, it, with what the autopsy shows is, is the prime thing that the jury has to know about. I go into the jury and I see that there are 43 other witnesses that are going to testify, uh, all kinds of witnesses, uh, people who saw him, people who didn't see him, people telling the truth, people who aren't telling the truth, uh, uh, the, the police officers, the friends, the confessions that he may have made, uh, that th what the medical examiner contributes often, most often, is cause of death, you know, to make sure... And with the Murdoch one, for example, the cause of death, both sides, both experts agreed that it was the, the shooting. Uh, there was a disagreement on w how the shooting occurred. But uh, but uh, the, we don't testify and I didn't testify as to um, um, uh, who done it. Although I did testify to one of the issues you brought up, the... the um, the, the medical examiner for the prosecutor said, well, he could tell from the autopsy that uh, uh, he was a, uh, uh, a, a, a six foot tall, uh, uh, strong male, right handed, uh, uh, who uh, stabbed him from the front, uh, stabbed uh, uh, Goldman from the front, for example. Uh, and I said, well, we can't do that. This could, he could have been a midget who was right handed who stabbed him from behind. You know, we can't tell from the stab wound where the person is standing or how tall or short the, the person is. That was given in as, as uh, part of the prosecution um, uh, uh, case against OJ, that it, it was it fit him exactly. And mm -hmm. I could say that that may or may not be so, but you can't, the medical examiner can't make that decision. We don't know that uh, from the stab wounds, how tall somebody is, And uh, for example. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.